So many caregivers are so wrapped up in what they're doing for the person that they love that they totally neglect themselves. And in doing so, they are not the best caregiver they can be. They're more frustrated, they're much more sad, they're fallen apart. I saw my mom during the time my father had Parkinson's, especially towards the end when he was really, really having a tough time. He would nap during the day and be up all night. Wandering the house, my mom would have to lock all the doors, put the alarm on. She couldn't sleep when her husband is wandering the house in the middle of the night. So for, I remember at least a year and a half, I don't think my mom slept through the night for all that time. And that took a toll on her. I mean, you cannot properly function without sleep and taking care of yourself. Being a caregiver is probably the most difficult job you're ever gonna have. When you have a job in general, you have to be alert, you have to be strong, you have to be healthy. So with a job like being a caregiver, you have to be all that and more. The only way you can do that is to take care of yourself. You cannot say, I don't have time for me. Oh no, I can't, couldn't do that. Oh, I would feel guilty if I went and did something fun. No, laughter, fun, all of that is gonna make you a better caregiver. The person who you're taking care of loves you as well, and they want the best for you because you're giving the best to them. So don't be a martyr. I think a lot of caregivers can be martyrs. It's, you know, all about, oh no, no, I couldn't do that. I have to be, I have to take care of this person and that's all that matters. Yes, it is all that matters because you are it, but it's okay to take care of yourself.